always first, always first. I wake up with the mindset of, I'm first. I got to lead. Leaders do more. I'm in front. We lead from the front. 245 wake up for 15 years, which started in the penitentiary because I ain't using the bathroom. I ain't brushing my teeth around. I ain't bumping into another fucking motherfucker when I wake up because that's when the problem happens. You're having to sit there and argue with the motherfucker over some facilities. So I just got up earlier. I just got up at 245 so that I could brush my teeth, use the bathroom, drink my coffee in peace and sit there and do my morning reflection after my first workout, which was typically just abs and getting my mind right. People always wonder, they always wonder, Wes, why 245? Why 245, Wes? What does it get you? What does it fucking get you? What do you get from it? It's what I get rid of, motherfucker. Look me in the eyes. I ain't that cupcake kid that you are. I have to get rid of all the anger, all the negativity that exists inside me. Trust me. It's not a fucking curse. It's a gift to be a motherfucker who will stand up in a world full of no backbone having bitches. So always first started with that 245 wake up in the penitentiary. So I didn't have to sit there and battle motherfuckers for the facility usage in the fucking institution. Institutional sophistication is a thing. And once you know the program, you have to take your fucking spot in this hierarchy of it's mine first, motherfucker. That's mine, motherfucker. I use that, big dog. What's up? What you going to do? That's what I did next with being in line for facility child movements or yard call. I'm always in line first. Got my same fucking cup. Got my same fucking spoon. Got my toilet paper roll for my napkin ready to go to chow. First thing first, I'm first in line, motherfucker first. What Watson's first? And I'm sitting there in line ready, 45 minutes before the door opens, standing by the door like a stoic, like a fucking militant motherfucker who has nowhere to go but is fucking knowing that every second he stands there, he's fucking attaching to a higher purpose and a higher power of internal attribution creation. That brings him with a new fuller power to everything he does. You guys take the power out of your life. I add it to my life by making life harder and validating myself through what's hard. You can't weather what I can weather, bitch. What, standing in front of the door some minutes early every day for years without fail? When I didn't want to, when I did, whenever the fuck, when someone thought they were going to beat me, nobody beat me. So that constructed a mindset of Wes, you're always first, big dog. When I'm talking to myself in the mirror, you're always first, homeboy. That's your spot. And I transfer it out here. Who's first now? Who's first now? That's what I'm saying. I can transfer this mindset to you, but you got to do the work. You can't just steward smallly that shit, be in the mirror telling yourself you're good enough, smart enough, and doggone it, motherfuckers like you. You can't do that. You have to back it up with action. And my actions are far superior than the lesser man who wants to sleep the fuck in, eat whatever the fuck he wants, miss workouts due to average people fucking problems, and then think he's going to be above average. You ain't never going to be above average when motherfuckers like me are always first. You see this penthouse we're sitting in? 39th floor, most desirable location in downtown San Diego. I told everybody on the yard when I was walking the track, walking them laps, First to the bars, first to the shit, first to the yard, first to this. I told everybody when I hit the fucking street, I'll be first balling again. I'll be first. Came down to the best penthouse right here. First high control felon to ever be in this penthouse. Obviously, it's not even a close second in a lot of things. And it has nothing to do with me. Don't get it fucked up. This is not ego right now. This is me saying that there is no separation between us two. Zero. Other than the work that I chose to do when I didn't want to fucking do it. Other than the work I chose to do when I didn't want to do it. When you slept in, I was up early like I'm broke. You're, you're sleeping in like you're rich and ripped, bitch. And I'm up early like I'm broke and soft. And that ain't the case. If you were in my position... You'd have took a day off. You would have took a vacation. You'd have deserved one. Motherfucker, I don't need shit. My life's a vacation because my previous life was fucking hell and I accepted that. I accepted that. 
I learned to take pleasure in not being pleased in what you would call hell. I learned to find pleasure in what you would call torture. This is all love. And you're calling this torture because you don't got your Lambo. You don't got the millions. It's hard to pay bills on the first. It must be the government. It ain't the government, bitch. You're a slacker, punk. It ain't the government's fault. It ain't your fucking... It ain't nobody but your fault. It's no. It's not your boss. It's not your genetics. It's nothing. It's you. You're not choosing to be first every day. First in line to serve yourself and build yourself to then be the product that those need, those around you need to be influenced in the correct manner. Your boy's as positive of an influence as it gets because I'm just saying I love you, but I hate your fucking pussy bitch habits. Confucius said fucking in 2000 AD that we're all the same, just different habits. And I'm, I'm telling you the same thing right now. But guess what? I'm 15 years into this. You'll be 15 months in and want your shit. And it ain't coming for a long fucking time. I've had people mentor under me. I expedited their process to where in two and a half years... They were ripped, they were rich, they were rare. One case in general, the guy came in drinking soft, negative, overweight, had a normal job, firefighter, got him ripped. He rode with me for a year, just developing himself as a person. Rode with me for a year, just developing himself as a person. His core beliefs, his core values, his physique, his mindset. Once he got that right, I taught him to do what I do. Now he's ripped. Now he's on his way to making a million dollars this year, which is dog shit because we're going to fucking crush that. And he's as rare as they get because he's saying, fuck me. It ain't about me. When all you cupcakes are saying, me next, where's mine? When's my big break coming? Your big break ain't coming because you don't get what you feel the world owes you, bitch, is what you really owe the world. Let's go!